Hey guys, welcome to the next time as we were furthermore discussing <laughs> my blabbering let's continue with the card review card review okay shimmerfly one mana one one beast for hunters death row add a random hunter spell to your hand so it synergizes with hun spell hunter but you're running beasts uh, okay hunter is kind of like getting a little bit of everything mixed in all together I don't know how to feel about this. It's definitely good. One drops are always powerful. It's a death rattle thing. It synergizes probably with other death rattle mechanics. Plus, it gives you a random spell, a hunter specifically, a hunt, uh, random spell. Uh, so, more value. Card generation is always powerful. One drops, powerful, like I said. B synergy. So, this card has. A little bit of everything so it can't really be bad so therefore it's good next we have archivist Eliciana okay an 8 mana 7 7 legendary minion neutral minion Balakrai discover five cards rip, rip ah, two. replace your deck with two copies of each wait what discover five cards so that that has never been done before only three cards Pro possibly four never five discover five cards replace your deck with two copies of each so you replace your entire deck with ten cards so you discover five cards five random cards and you're gonna get those five cards placed in your deck two times and that's your entire deck this can go horribly wrong or really good I like the card I think it's a really powerful effect and it's so cool but it's not gonna be as consistent as people want it to be so I don't think I don't think I might be wrong that archivist Eliciana is gonna be great next we have Hange Clan Hag 4 mana 3-3 three, three, neutral minion Balakrai summon 2 one, 1 amalgams with all minion types okay so we already know the amalgams <laughs> there's like a there's like one over there uh, that's an interesting take so this thing is effectively a four mana five five which is already great uh, you get two one ones that are basically each type so it's a dragon it's a murloc it's a mech it's an elemental all that jazz you know you know all that so it synergizes well with other um, you know types I like it I, I think this card is cool it's cool it's probably even great next we have exotic mount seller seven mana five eight okay interesting stats uh, neutral minion whenever you cast a spell summon a random three cost beast so you get a random three cost beast from summoning spells mm, okay first thing that comes to mind is still token druid with the whole spells how good are three cost beasts nah, not as great and plus this is a seven mana five eight okay it can stick on the board I don't know I'm torn on this thing I would rather I, I, I think this is rather a uh, uh, arena card next we have barista lynchin 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 or oh, whatever I butchered her name already five mana four five okay legendary neutral minion battle cry add a copy of each of your other battle cry minions to your hand add a copy of each of your other battlecry minions to your hand so you already have to have battlecry minions in play mm. I mean 
technically, even if you get one copy back of anything you played before, that's already a good value. Right? Okay. So, if you're playing a lot of Battlecry stuff, Barista Lynchon is definitely overpowered. Because she's gonna give you a lot, a lot of value back. Really good card, even for just the one card that you play before that and still is in the game and you get a copy of it back. I think that's really great. Next we have the Boom Reaver, 10 mana, 7, 9 mech, legendary minion for um, warriors, okay. Battlecry, summon a copy of a minion in your deck, give it rush. So it summons a copy of a minion. So again, in that really big, big, big style, Warrior wants to go big with mechs and minions and everything that's huge. This thing synergizes with that. I don't know, we'll just have to see exactly how many 8, 9 and 10 drops we're gonna fit in a 30 card uh, deck. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so hoping it's gonna be good. Because this thing's not good if you summon a 3 2 or a 1 5 or some shit like that or a 1 3. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Why am I yawning so much? Next we have Conjurer's Calling. A 3 mana twin spell for mages, destroy a minion, summon 2 minions of the same cost to replace it. Okay, that's a weird effect. So if you destroy your opponent's minion, you're gonna summon 2 minions for... For him or for you? Because if you destroy his minion and you summon for you two minions, I don't think that's the way it's, it's gonna work. Because it's it's three mana and that would be like overpowered. Destroy your minion and summon. It's destroy a minion, summon two minions of the same cost to replace it. So if it's on the opposite side, you're gonna summon on the opposite side. If it's your minion, so you need to sacrifice one of your minions and then summon two random minions of the same cost. So this is specifically good, I guess, in higher mana cost minions, uh, which do a specific thing, maybe take a value trade, and then just sacrifice it. Or maybe you just hit one's face and then you sacrifice it. It did a little bit of damage, it did something on the board, and then you get two random, you know, big beef of minions for three mana. For three mana! Plus it's a twin spell. Did I mention it's a twin spell? This, this card's gonna be broken in big mage. Next we have Potion Vendor, 1 mana 1 1, a neutral minion, Battlecry restore 2 health to all friendly characters. This is an insane card. 1 because 1 drops are broken usually and heal mechanics are also really good really good we we saw heal zoo and heal paladin and now heal druid and heal and heal and heal and heal a thon uh, is gonna go on okay cool potion vendor like it love it good next we have dalaran 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 library oh my god that is such a tongue twister for me Dalaran Librarian. 2 mana, 2 tree, battle cry, sil silence adjacent minions. So, this is the card that is going to dedicate how well other cards are that have basically negative effects on it. So, anything that is big can't attack, or big has death rattle, deal damage to your board, or deal 
or give your min give your opponent coins or health or armor or a random minion or, or anything like that so anything any bad death rattle or any bad thing on a card if you have those this thing's going to help you get rid of that it's a cheap card so i'm guessing it's gonna probably find its way inside of those decks you know silence we already had in the past specific silence uh, priest I, I think it was silence priest that had these big beefy minions and he would just silence them so that he could use them because they couldn't attack ah speaking of such things here we go arcane watcher so a watcher card we already have a two mana four five i believe and now we have a three mana five six can't attack unless you have spell damage okay now that's an interesting um, take on it so you need to have spell damage okay it's not not as uh, badly situated as the other ones that just literally cannot attack unless silenced i guess this thing can attack if you have spell damage so it's a little bit easier to pull off definitely high stats for the value of the mana right so i'm guessing this card is going to be really good with specific silence effects and also spell damage so maybe spell hunter spell damage hunter spell hunter could find a place for this i like it okay hench clan squad quill i guess uh squid shade quill not squad what the shade quill okay oh my god he looks like rocksteady and bebop together okay cool <laughs> four mana four seven um uh, death Rail, restore five health to the enemy hero okay so this these are like the negative effects that you don't really want to give to your opponent so this would be one of those things that you might want to silence maybe you don't want to silence it because sometimes priest has the added benefit of making all of their um, restore health mechanics do damage instead so that might actually be good then but it's one of those minions that you might want to silence and we already know priest has another statue or something like that that they own that they also want to silence so yeah silence silence this thing this is an interesting one convincing infiltrator five mana two six priest minion i am so sorry i don't know what is going on taunt death rattle destroy a random enemy minion so it's like the really big annoying statues or drakes or whatever those things are that used to infuriate us you know the <laughs> that also have life steal this thing doesn't have life steal but you destroy this it destroys a random enemy minion that is already a powerful effect and it has taunt five mana two six dies easily not as easily doesn't do a lot of damage kind of cool yeah good death rattle did i mention it has taunt good card Waggle pick. Hmm, four mana, four two. Uh, weapon. I'm guessing it's for rogue because talk waggle, waggle, talk waggle. Okay, might be wrong. Daffrel, return a random friendly minion to your hand. It costs two less. Okay, by the effect, I would definitely say it's a rogue card because rogues tend to put everything back into their hands. And stuff like that four mana four two uh return a random friend friendly minion to your hand it costs two less okay the effect is powerful we already know that the effect is powerful four mana four two okay it's a good card it's definitely a good card unsleeping soul four mana priest spell silence a friendly minion then summon a copy of it oh okay more silence, uh, more silence, eh? 
this is a powerful silence effect. So you get off the negatives and then you summon a copy of the Dominion without the negatives. This is powerful. I like this. Okay, Soldier of Fortune. Four mana, five, six elemental. Now that's really big on the stats. Whenever this minion attacks, give your opponent a coin. Oh, downsides. Okay, now we're getting... We got the silence minion before, right? It was revealed before. And now we see all of the possibilities. Okay, I like it. So whenever this minion attacks, give your opponent a coin. Uh, that's kind of a big downside because you don't really want to give your opponent that many coins unless you try to like fill his hand in order for him to burn um, cards that he might draw but coins are really easy to get rid of it just helps your opponent more and more oh my god I'm so sorry guys so this card is eh, not good unless you're running it with a lot of silence mechanics and stuff like that it's not great it's not great next we have proud defender four mana two six taunt minion neutral minion has plus two attack while you have no other minions on the board specifically right mm, yeah so it's a four mana four six if there's nothing else on the board you can always play this and then play other minions in conjunction with it nope 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 scratch that you cannot it's not a bell cry it's an ongoing effect so as long as you don't have any other minions it's always going to be a 4-6 as soon as you play a minion beside it it's gonna become a 2-6 interesting interesting arena card to say the least. Uh, I like it. It's not that powerful, in my opinion. Next we have Inferno. Give your demons plus one attack. Deal one damage to all and oh so this is a board clear style thing. So it definitely synergizes with spell damage. Plus it's a buff to all of your demons. This card is insane. And on that note, I'm gonna end the episode here, and we'll see you guys with more Insanity in the next one.